When I was eight years old, I was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, and that makes up a huge part of who I am. Uh, but when it comes to music, music has been a wonderful outlet for me to express myself through. I have a lot of energy and I can confidently say I'm pretty spontaneous and I would say my music is a reflection of that. So if you're listening to it, it's going to be janky, all over the place, maybe borderline chaotic, but I think that's a great thing. I first started playing around on the piano when I was a kid, just because we had a big one uh, in the front room of our house. But uh, by the time I was like nine or so, I started playing guitar because some of my other friends were playing guitar and I wanted to be cool and do what they were doing. And then that ended up being my thing and I stuck with that for like 11 years now. And I've also started playing other instruments and it's been a blast. Pretty much all of my friends uh, from Florence, but even here, like in Colombia, um, all of them are artistic and creative, and I love that because I think those are the most interesting and engaging people. And when it comes to making music, which we all do, um, and we tend to do together, we all bounce off each other really well. We all have a very similar style and we jive really well together outside of music. So it just makes music making process a very fun and engaging one. I will be making music until the day that I die, I think. It's it's more than just making music in the sense of like, check out this little thing I made, this is so cool, listen to you, show your friends or whatever. It's it's almost like my own personal diary. I, and it doesn't have to be super great or appeal to other people, although I'd love it too if it's going out into the world, but it's really just for me and my own gratification. Whoa, whoa. 